Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole. If you're new here, if you are not new, welcome back to my channel. I have just gone to Aldi and done a little shop. I need to go to Woolworths and get one of those three things, but I know that ain't going to happen. <laughs> I've already actually done two orders this week from, I did one from Coles and one from Woolies and picked them up. Uh, was it Wednesday, Tuesday? It was Tuesday afternoon. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll quickly show you what I bought. I just got a pack of turkey mint, so I'm just going to season it up with some taco seasoning and use it for lunches for during the week. So I was in the kitchen earlier and I started getting that mince ready to do for lunches. And I added some taco seasoning, some garlic, ground garlic and some onion powder and hubby chopped a fresh onion and we chopped that in. And then I put a can of tomatoes in and then I tried it and it was so spicy. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I said to hubby, try this. And he tried it and even he was like, yeah, that's hot. So it was weird. It's almost like they've swapped the... You said it's a little bit spicy. Um, yeah, but I use that taco seasoning all the time and it's never that hot. And I didn't even have that much left in the container either, so it was very odd. So that got turned into a taco soup. So I've just put that on um, eight hours in the slow cooker now. I added some corn, some canned beans to it and two cans of tomatoes. So... And I've already got a lasagna out for tomorrow night, so we'll probably have the taco soup on Tuesday night, I'd say. I've got sour cream and I've got some chips that I was going to let the kids have for snack, but now they'll, they can be for Tuesday's dinner instead. So that's okay. At least I don't need to worry about the next two nights' dinner, so that's good. Uh, I've got some scotch fillet steak. I'm going to do that for dinner tonight. Got some bacon. Um, I ran back and grabbed some chicken last minute because I haven't got any in the freezer and also good for lunches. Um, got some blue cheese that is to go on the steak. I've got some feta. My daughter's just loving salads at the moment. She keeps saying to me, We still haven't got any feta, have we, Mum? So I've got her some of that. Another box of box, not blocks. <laughs> Box of blueberries. Young bloke's loving having these on his oats and we've been putting them in smoothies as well. Got some more nuts. I bought a bag for hubby the other day. It's like a mixed bag, but I'm just gonna add these to it as well. And then I'm gonna portion them up and he'll take some nuts to work and he'll have a piece of fruit so he can have a pear or an apple with it. Uh, probably a pear, he coughs a bit when he has apples. It's really odd. Got some chia seeds, nearly out of those. Got some um what do you call them fruit and juice sorry i was looking around the table because i thought i bought four um but these ones are in jelly young bloke likes those ones and then my daughter likes the ones just in the juice got some laminating pouches there's 40 in there they're about six bucks got some more pasta just to stock up the pantry a little bit so just got two packs of spirals and two spaghetti uh, some corn chips and a salsa, uh, just be for the kids to snack on. Over the back there, I've got some more washing liquid. It is so beautiful. I think I say it every vlog when I buy it, how, how nice it is. And I also got some of this because I cleaned the bathroom the other day and scrubbed all the shower out. And it's still got calcium build up on the tiles. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, grab me one of those. And that was about $5.50 off the top of my head. Um, young bloke's in the background, you can hear him with some game in the lounge room. Got some four pack of like turkey for sandwiches and some more ham. I've got a freezer full of ham, but I'm actually going to make some pizzas um, with those. And I got some these tortilla strips, they're really nice, just white corn. I'm going to make some guacamole. The avocados are so cheap at the moment, as you know, if you're in Australia. So I have so many in the house. I've just been buying a bag every time I go to the shops pretty much. So I've just opened a bag and put them in my little bowl on the bench. And then I've got another bag in the fridge still. So yeah, hopefully a few days and they'll be ready to make some quok with. Oh, I've got a real butter here. Um, Swiss brown mushrooms and some 
just normal mushrooms. Um, I actually bought some dried ones from Aldi the other day and I'm going to make a risotto. Um, I never used to like risotto but I really like it now and I love making the arancini. So between these two and the dried ones, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So I just thought I'd add in this little part of the video, the mushrooms I've got. So these are dried porcini mushrooms. Never tried them before. And these ones are premium selected dried mixed forest mushrooms. So all different kind of looking ones there. I was wondering how they were going to sell actually with that lady who just poisoned all the people she had for lunch. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you just soak these in some water and then use the mushrooms. But because I'm making a risotto, I'll use the water that they soaked in for that and it'll make it even more delicious. I've uh, got some more oats, nearly totally out of them. We've been doing the overnight oats as well. So um, I was buying a lot of the flavoured ones in the boxes. I've still got some in the pantry, but they're just, there's a lot of sugar in them. So at least I can control, you know, what's in it a little bit. And I'd rather put a bit of our beautiful honey from our hives in there rather than the sugar. So um, yeah, the pears, like I said, I've got a lettuce, I've got a cucumber, um, just a couple of pasta sauces. We haven't got any more of those left, I don't think, in the pantry. I know we used one last night for some ravioli. They had a few coconut milks um, at the shop today. They didn't haven't had any coconut milk for a long time at the one I go to, so I grabbed two of the light coconut milks and two of the light coconut creams. Love our curries in this house. Picked up another tub of hummus. That will be to have with some, I got some fresh capsicum. Um, I do have lots, I don't know if I showed you. I bought heaps um, from Coles the other week and I chopped it all up and froze it all. Really good and I've really got through it. Um, I've got a dice bag in the kitchen freezer still. But yeah, just nice to have some fresh one on hand just to, you know, like have, have with this. Got some Kansy apples. So these are just like Pink Lady apples if you've never tried those. And I've got two little bunches of bananas and I've got two big dog rolls for this. Um, so all up it came to $310.74. So quite a lot really for... I just always keep thinking like when I used to do my shop there and it was 160 bucks for like, you know, I could fill this table which is a big 10 seater, so, um, yeah, so not too bad. Okay, I went to the spud shed, um, mainly just to grab some sweet potatoes, and they were only $1.99 a kilo, so that was good. They're about $4 everywhere else at the moment, and they're really big. That's my chopping board, so. A couple of them to have with the dinner tonight. I got some baby spinach, because this morning I got my pumpkin out of the fridge and got all the seeds out it's nearly time to plant the pumpkin so i thought i'd get some fresh spinach and we can do a um, pumpkin feta and spinach salad with the balsamic dressing that'd be nice and i got some meat tenderizer i was actually looking for a, another piece of topside to do some more beef jerky but they only had huge ones that were like 80 bucks so didn't end up getting any meat, but that's okay. I'll just pop that in the pantry. And I got a big pack of the, just the, what are they? Just the buffet rolls that you pop in the oven. It's so good. And it's on two separate trays, so um, there's enough there in each thing. I can freeze one and we can have one for like each meal, we'll do two meals. And then I went to Woolworths. I've got a six pack of Viva paper towel. I've got two of these hazelnut lattes. Probably like those, but they're all out. And they had the vitamins on special half price. So I got myself and my daughter some each. Just sent them for women. And then I saw these on clearance, which is good. I've already got one of these little containers that I use quite a lot. And I wanted these to put some nuts in for hubby for work. So they were about $7 something down to, I want to say $5.60. And they had these little kids' Vita, Vita gummy things marked down from 20 down to $4.10, so I just grabbed two of them. 
going to be used by August, but it's all right. The smash are on. And I've got some fire lighters, obviously, for the fire, because we're all over those as well. So, yeah, did really good, actually. You didn't spend much at all, so it's good. Good morning. It is Sunday. I'm just getting some things done for the week. I've got the dishwasher stacked, unstacked and stacked, and I've got a load of washing in. And I've just got the big jar out the pantry, and I'm just going to sort out all these nuts and that, so I can make up some for the snacks for the week. So this is just a big bag that I had sort of done up already. But as you saw when I did the shopping yesterday, I bought some more almonds and some papitas. And I already had walnuts I got from the spud shed and the cranberries were just from um, Aldi as well a little while back. So I'm not going to put the cranberries in with the nut mix, but I will add some to the little containers once I've done them up. I've mixed up all the nuts in the bowl and then I've got my little containers out and I've got my measuring cup. So a healthy serve of nuts to have is a third of a cup, which actually looks like a lot when they reckon six to eight nuts. But I've um, been following this bloke on YouTube and that's his recommendation to have that much with a piece of fruit, like an apple or a pear or something like that. It's a really good healthy snack to during the day. Okay, so they're all done. So that will give hubby one for every day. I don't think he probably would want one every day, maybe every other. Um, see how it goes, but it does seem like a pretty big serve, but they are healthy fats, so I guess it's all right. And the jar looks like that. It's pretty delicious, I reckon. And then the cranberries actually did fit in my little cranberry jar. So, that was good by the time I filled this up. Um, I just had a little bit to pop into these, so. So we ended up getting hubby some new shoes. They were 160 bucks down to 119.95. And they are so nice. He's been wearing these ones from Big W and they're so ugly. <laughs> and he doesn't care, he likes them, but I said to him, please buy yourself some decent shoes. So, yeah, got these ones are so nice. Then he got some slides, new slides as well, which are here. So they were 50 bucks. We just tried them on with Xiaomi. Really nice, nice and soft. <gasps> A bit up in here is really nice and soft as well. <gasps> yeah, so about all we bought at the shops so pretty good day really okay guys i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm just having some dinner we're just having some breakfast for dinner tonight so we ended up going out to the shops and um took my daughter's friend out with us and yeah we had a really nice day and then when we come back, we ended up just doing some gardening at the back. Hubby did all the whippersnipping and we raked up and we chopped some wood. And yeah, we're tired now. So um, just chilling, having some dinner and going to edit this video for you. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my little grocery haul and just a little bit of what I was up to in the kitchen today. I managed to clean my whole second drawer out in my kitchen again too, which looks beautiful. Hard to open it, which is my young bloke in his light. It looks so neat in here. I've never seen it so clean. <laughs> I said, yeah, well, it gets cleaned out. It just doesn't stay like that for very long. It ends up with bags and Ziploc bags everywhere. So, yeah. But I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.